Hey guys, um, working on the electric motion. I just had it a couple of months, just washed it, got a couple hours on it. But I wanted to show you guys something kind of interesting. I'm going over the <laughs> bike with a fine tooth comb, just making sure everything's safe because I've had uh, seen some bad things in the past. I've actually seen people put the brake pads in backwards and have metal on metal on one of the bikes I bought out of Japan. And luckily I caught that before I used it. Um, the other thing I had happen yesterday, I was at the motocross track riding the track with my YZ450 and a, a young guy blew over the berm and crashed into another guy and he said his handlebars had shifted. He, I think he was under hard acceleration coming out of the uh, hard turn up on the bank and he, he shifted right here. They were loose and he blew through the berm and crashed and got pretty hurt and shook up and bent his bike up pretty good, broke a few things. Um, so he was done for the day. But I just want to give you guys a heads up to check your bike over with a fine tooth comb no matter where you got it, new or used, or your own bike after a while because things get weird. But here's one that kind of tricked me. It's a new design that I didn't know about. So here I am looking at the electric motion, making sure everything's safe. And I'm working on the front brake, just tuning it. I had to switch the bars out. I mentioned in another video for a warranty issue and I had to um, switch out the battery gauge. And I'm gonna add this in right now too. These bars are not centered when it comes to this printed logo and these markings. They must have printed the logo crooked so you can't center it based on that. I just learned this just now. I was looking at my bars and I realized they were out of whack. It's kind of a bummer because I already marred them, centering them what I thought was perfect, and I had to slide them over almost a quarter inch or more because that logo on the bars was printed crooked, just so you guys know. But um, back to this. Check this out. I put the bike up on the uh, stand. Oops. There goes my caliper. Bummer. Um, and I spun the wheel. I'll put that down there. So I spun the, or I spun the wheel, and I heard this little clicky shift. And I'm like, what the hell's loose? And realize the disc is loose. And I'm like, oh my God, that could be really hazardous. So I go to tighten it, take it apart. And lo and behold, that's the way it's designed. I haven't seen this before, but you can see these bolts are designed to have these holders that allow that front brake disc to shift around and kind of float. So you're gonna feel a little rattle on your uh, electric motion escape or what have you or maybe some other bikes too with this type of a design so when you go to wiggle that wheel back and forth with the brake set you'll hear a clickety click and it's obviously deliberate and that's kind of a not a bad idea because it allows this disc to float between the brake pads and never do that kind of rubbing you know how you spin your bicycle or your motorcycle and it kind of goes shoom 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 because it's rubbing well this is just going to float down the middle which is nice you know a couple millimeters this way or that way so something to consider, I didn't know, something I learned new today. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Hope that helps you guys. Um, but anyway, check over your bike thoroughly. You never know what you're gonna find and what's not tight. Um, I've had a, other instances I mentioned, my YZ450 um, back here, the hub bolts on the sprocket came loose and I started cutting the uh, swing arm off with them and I lost two of the bolts. The sprocket was so loose, I almost wrecked the whole thing. And it was, making the rear wheel lock up because the bolt was getting caught. So that was quite hazardous. That I didn't figure out on my trail ride for a minute or two. Uh, anyway, talk to you guys later. Hope that helps you. Stay safe. Uh, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it.